Summer is tick season. June is particularly the peak of tick season, even in the summers. Anything that, that's blood sucking is generally what people don't like about them. They're always like, ah, oh, they're so gross. We have one with a dot. It's the female, this one beside her down here that doesn't have a dot, that's the male of the same species. It's not like a mosquito where you hear it coming with its little buzz, it's just all of a sudden you'll find ticks on you and they, um, they are such hardy little creatures that they're really hard to kill. The most common tick in our area is the Lone Star Tick. And Lone Star Ticks are notorious because they are a very aggressive tick. Um, they will chase you down, so they'll run, you know, 15, 30 meters to find you if you sit still in the woods. Um, dog tick likes people, even though it's called a dog tick, it's not exclusively on a dog. The Lone Star Tick will feed on pretty much anything that's moving that's big. Um, we have the black-legged tick or the deer tick, which is the one that can cause Lyme disease. Most people are familiar with that one. It's one of the less common ones actually in our area, but it's the one that can more likely give a lot of different diseases. One of the biggest things is awareness. Tick check, tick check, tick check. When you come back in from the field, no matter what you've done or how, think, how careful you think you are, um, we often joke that we feel like monkeys. We do a lot of grooming each other before we get in the car when you get back home. Take a shower while the shower does not wash the tick off. It is a good chance to inspect your entire body as well as very, uh, we're all very tactile people. So you'll often feel the tick more than you can see them even because they can be very small. Um, treating your shoes and socks with permethrin, which is a chemical you can buy at, at like uh, sporting goods stores or Walmarts, sell it, it's very cheap. It's the stuff that is not for your body, it's for your clothes. And so the best way to get them out if they have one biting is don't put Vaseline on it, because as I said, they don't really need oxygen. You're not going to suffocate them. Um, don't don't try putting touching a match to it. Again, they're not going to back out. They're really determined to, to eat. They're, they're, they're hungry. Um, taking a pair of tweezers and, and putting it directly against your skin and pulling straight up is a good answer. If you can save the tick, it's ideal. Throw it in a Ziploc bag, put it in your freezer. If you're local, we'll take them. We like to collect ticks on, from people, from dogs, from cats, from anything. We collect them from the field, from flags. Um, from birds, anything we can get our hands on, because um, it gives us a good flavor of what all is out there.